my job it was a TV engineer. That's how I started out. I started out as a TV engineer. Uh, went as an apprentice, then as an improver, and finally as an engineer. I worked for someone in Hale, which is a small little town uh, outside of uh, Rochdale. And I remember working there, I was an inside engineer, and I worked there for about two years. And then I was offered to go on the outside as an outside service engineer. And I thought, fantastic, outside service engineer, great. I want it to rise. <laughs> <laughs> and this was a brand new van that I, that I took. And it gave me a list of jobs in Rochdale. And I started off and I went to Rochdale. And I, I remember this quite plainly. <coughs> There's a row of tourist houses, row of tourist houses with long garden paths and gardens. And I went out, opened the garden gate, I walked straight up the long drive, up to the top, opened the door, went inside. Well, first of all, I knocked at the door and said, <laughs> I'm a service engineer. <laughs> I lighted in, switched the TV set on. It was low height. And that's a fairly common fault. So uh, that was my first job. It's an easy job. It was low height, which meant it would probably evolve. So I went outside, went all down the path, opened the gate, opened the van door for a box of dolls. No, there was a box of dolls there. <laughs> so I took the dolls out, went back, bought the drive, went in the house. Turn around, switched the TV off, went round the back. Now in those days there were console TVs, not these modern TVs, they were a big console. So I went down the back, took the back off, took the valve out, and then I put the valve back in a new one. Now if you can imagine, I was behind the console, and I was down on my hands and knees, something like that. And I was looking round, and I thought, I'm sure that's different wallpaper. <laughs> <laughs> and slowly I looked up and I came up at the top. And was four pair of eyes. I never recognised anyone. <laughs> I'd gone in the wrong house. <laughs> so I slowly sucked out again. <laughs> Old old back in the big old bench, and I thought, what on earth am I going to do now? I thought, best thing to do is ignore it. <laughs> <laughs> so I got up, went round, and I looked at them, and said, it. I think it's all right now. <laughs> and I walked out to the door. <laughs> so that was my first job. <laughs> I walked down the garden path again. Went round, got me a box of valves, went up to the <laughs> next door, where I should have gone in the first place. I went in, which you said you'd been a long time. <laughs> I said, well, I've been next door. <laughs> oh, she said, is there a TV pocket? I said, no, it's all right now. <laughs> so you're going to do that, aren't you, really? I mean, I'm not going to admit that I was wrong, or an idiot, or anything like that. Went back to the shop, did the only job, went back to the shop. And he said, how did you go on? I said, fantastic. No problems whatsoever. <laughs> I was going my race, I'll tell you. And you know, I did get, get the rise. <laughs> <laughs> and that, was the biggest blunder I've ever made. I still remember it to this day. I've made others. <laughs> you know, well, don't expect me to say the others here. <laughs> so that was my job. Um, there are other events which happened, um, which, in fact, <coughs> I just. No, I'm not going to tell you. <laughs> <laughs>